The Writer Who Could Not Read. Have you ever thought, even for a moment, that the part of your brain that controls writing could be different than the part that controls reading? Consider the case of Mr. Howard Engel, the celebrated author of numerous detective novels. The year was 2001. The place was Toronto, Canada. When I woke up in the morning, I wasn't aware that it was any different from any other morning. All the normal things looked in their normal, dull fashion. I went out and picked up the morning paper and found that it seemed to be written in Serbo-Croatian or something strange and surprising. He continued to look through the paper, and while the layout and pictures all looked familiar, all of the words were wildly distorted. The conclusion that hit me next was, I've had a stroke. Mr. Engel recovered quickly in the hospital, although he was left with alexia, also called word blindness. His eyesight was normal, save for the fact that he was unable to differentiate the shapes that make up letters and words. I think it would now look like gibberish with an English origin. It was quixotic, in that a P would become a B, or an S become an R. Amazingly, however, he found that when taking a pencil in hand, he was still able to draw the shapes of those letters. He was still able to write. Yes, and I found that I could write with rather refreshing ease. And then, of course, what I had written after an interval would become the same sort of gibberish I found in the newspaper. All of this sounds utterly illogical and baffling until you start to look at it this way. Your eyes only see the shapes that make up text, but it's your brain that identifies these shapes as words and letters and assigns the meaning. If the brain can't process signals from the eye, but it can process signals from the hand just fine, there's no reason why you can't still draw the shapes that you know to be letters and words. With that in mind, Mr. Engel began using motion when he took the painful steps towards starting to read again. Every time he reads now, he will identify words by tracing each individual letter on the page with his finger or in the air. I've also tried writing on the roof of my mouth with my tongue, or now I've moved it to my lower teeth. I just sort of trace the word in my mind with actually moving my tongue to form the letters. Amazingly, Mr. Engel has been able to pen two books since the stroke. I was surprised that the ability to read and the ability to write, while similar, are not identical. Any final thoughts, Mr. Engel? One of the first things they told me with Alexia that my spelling would go to hell, and it certainly did, but it didn't have far to go.